This is the all-new Zorin OS 17. One of the hottest Linux distros of all has rolled out a major update and it's packed with new features, improvements and some really cool new things this time around. Zorin OS is one of the most premium and feature-rich operating systems we have today. It's a Linux distro that has been boosted to the kingdom come. The newest update that is Zorin OS 17 brings even cooler, even fantastic things that take the Zorin experience to the next level. I installed Zorin 17 as soon as it rolled out and I've been playing with it since and I'm thoroughly impressed. The new spatial desktop, performance level up, new look, better than ever usability, oh there's a lot here and there is one new thing that will blow you away. So without further ado, let's crack this countdown of the 11 things new in Zorin OS 17. Alright, starting off with the update that has the crowds cheering and dancing. Zorin 17 introduces a new desktop effect called Desktop Cube and this brings a 3-dimensional spatial effect to your workspaces. First look, this looks absolutely stunning, unlike anything I've seen yet. Enable this from the effects option in Zorin appearance and then invoke the activities overview by either clicking here or by pressing the super button and then you can click on the empty spaces here and drag gently to do this. Is this cool or what? You can see how cool the application windows are spaced out in the Z axis as well. This is like using Blender. While this is just an effect and doesn't bring any additional functionality, it's still a pretty neat effect to have nonetheless. I loved it. And just under the desktop cube effect, we get a new option called spatial window switcher. This brings a more engaging window switcher. When you press Alt plus Tab to switch between running applications, this switcher pops up. While there's nothing wrong with it, by enabling this toggle, you get this new switcher. Kinda looks like Apple's stage manager. This new switcher has a full-on 3D effect and the applications are flying all around. It's pretty amazing. This new switcher is definitely better as it utilizes your spatial awareness to help you better switch between applications. Instead of your mind just recognizing the icon and the names of the applications, now your mind will create and use a space map of running applications to help you switch between them faster and more accurately. I'm huge on multi-application workflow. I have 5 different applications open all the time and I can appreciate something like this. This is not just a cosmetic change but a usability upgrade as well. Zorin 17 brings GNOME 43.9. This is a big update in the UI front as the last major version of Zorin, that is Zorin 16 series, utilized GNOME 3.38. So this is a huge leap up to GNOME 40 series. This jump brings some big redesigns to some of the core components of Zorin OS. The quick settings are fully redesigned. Instead of the old listicle style controls, now we get futuristic pills that let you toggle things like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and other things with just a click here. Just like everything that Zorin does, these pills look fantastic too. They have a gradient color scheme that looks electrifying. Also, if you haven't already noticed, the workspaces are now arranged horizontally instead of vertically. This is a huge change that comes to Zorin because of the updated GNOME desktop. GNOME's new GTK4 Lib Advaita apps also debut here. All the default applications like the file manager, software store are all GTK4 apps here. GTK4 brings next generation capabilities to these apps, so while everything looks pretty much the same as it did before, Zorin has nonetheless jumped to the next gen toolkit and technologies with this update. Zorin 17 comes with a gorgeous and functional GUI, that's for sure. But the real power of Linux lies in the terminal or the command line interface. Having a good knowledge of Linux commands and being comfortable using the terminal really broadens what you can do with Linux and what kind of experience you are going to get here. So if you're interested in leveling up your Linux game, definitely check out my course Linux Mastery Express, which is the fastest way to learn Linux and start using Linux like a pro. I'll teach you a set of commands that will give you the confidence to use Linux without even a graphical user interface. Then we'll dive deep and learn how to use the V editor and master shell scripting with real life examples. After teaching more than 100 students in person, I've curated this course with the top things that will level up your Linux skills the fastest. So if you're feeling like your Linux game is stuck in the same spot for too long and you're ready to take your Linux skills to the next level quickly, check out the link in the description below and get your Linux Mastery Express. We are running a massive 45% discount right now, so make use of it. Zorin 17 brings advanced window styling after a big request tag for it from its users. This new tiling mechanism is unlike anything you have seen yet. This new tiling here doesn't force you to use styles all the time, although that's allowed if you want to. 
you can enable this new tiling from the interface section of the Zorin appearance application. Basically, you use the super button plus numpad keys to tile windows. With the window open, press super plus numpad 8 or numpad up to tile it up. Super plus numpad 2 to tile it to bottom. 6 and 4 to tile it to either sides and you can even use numpad 7, 9, 1 and 3 to tile it to corners. You get the idea. You can press the same keys again to untile. There are many more options here which you can play around with and you can also create custom key bindings as well as layouts. Zorin 17 brings new adjustable power modes. You get three performance profiles, performance, balanced and power saving. These power modes give you better control over the performance and battery life of your computer. While on desktops that are always connected to a power source, balanced and performance modes can be perpetually kept on. On laptops is where these performance modes actually shine. On laptops, every bit of battery life becomes very valuable. So these profiles let you balance performance and battery life on your laptop. You can go for high performance when it's needed and switch to battery life saving when that's your priority. Two of these can be toggled here by directly clicking on this toggle here. And all the three become available once you click here. Power profiles are great in a sense that they provide a tighter control over how your system performs. Zorin OS 17 brings a shift in how the user interacts with it. Zorin 17 comes with a boosted universal search that lets you get to what you want quickly. And Zorin developers aspire for this search to be the starting point of the Zorin experience. Every time you do something on your computer, they want you to start with this search. Want to open a file? Start by starting to type its name. Want to fire up an application? Just start typing. Want to mail a contact? No, don't open the mail app. Just type in the contact's name. Who needs a calculator app when your search can quickly tell you how many slices of pizza each person should get? Want to change some settings? Yep, just search for it. Also, you can search for search and then configure the search to behave exactly the way you want it to. Life short buddy, you gotta live faster. It had been quite some time since the Zorin software store saw an overhaul. But this time, we are seeing a huge jump with GNOME software store version 45.2. Compared to the software store in Zorin 16, this new software store looks vastly more premium. Both the storefront as well as the application pages look good here. The application page provides even more information regarding the packages you are installing. This is particularly important in Zorin's case as Zorin provides applications in full native .dev packages, snaps and flatpacks. Now you can compare and contrast between different versions and make informed decisions. The software store is also more stable and performant now. Zorin OS has always been a snappy operating system, but with the Z17 update, Zorin developers up the game even more. Now, instead of having a minimum system requirement of 2 gigs, Z17 requires just 1.5 gig of RAM. Now, this is a very important improvement as this means that the amazing Zorin experience will be available on even more hardware. And Zorin will perform even better on hardware that it already supported. Faster and fluid desktop effects, Quicker app switching resulting in even better multitasking. Yeah, Z17 is bringing an even leaner computing experience to the table. This beauty runs like a dream now. With Windows 11 expiring soon, Zorin 17 is going to be an absolute upgrade for those people in terms of the performance. Zorin 17 is going to be a lifeline for computers that are hanging in there. With Z17, they are maybe going to run another 5 years. That's significant. With Zorin 17, Capturing what's on your screen is going to be even easier. With GNOME's new screenshot and screen recording utility, you can now take screenshots with much more flexibility. Full screen screenshots, particular windows or even a pre-selected area. You can do all that conveniently using this new feature. You can now also record the screen without needing to install any third-party screen recorders. Be it for sharing your screen captures, explaining something or even for troubleshooting purposes. You can directly record the screen here. This too is fully granular. Record the full screen or a particular window or an area on the screen. All you have to do is press the print screen button or the camera icon in the quick controls menu and you're good to go. This is a really handy feature to have. Alright, Z17 also brings a redesigned weather app. Let's quickly launch it up. This doesn't just look stunning but it's also absolutely packed with information. The interface here is made to look beautiful and colorful and at the same time it's loaded with weather info. You can get hourly forecasts here so that you can plan when to go out and get the groceries. This also gives you a 10-day forecast so you can even plan trips and hangouts well in advance. 
And the cool thing here is the weather information for your place gets seamlessly integrated into the system and is displayed in your system clock and calendar. So you don't need to open this app always to check out the forecast. It's right there for you to take a quick glance at. Zorin 17 makes it easier for you to decide whether to take the umbrella. That's smarter. One of the special things about Zorin is it provides out of the box support for Windows apps and the kind of support and accessibility we get here is quite unparalleled. Now for those of you who dabble with Linux and Windows applications, the experience is only getting better. Z17 comes with Wine 8.0.2. This version of Wine is a big deal because it comes with many enhancements in how well it handles Windows apps on Linux. Firstly, Wine 8 runs 32-bit Windows applications on 64-bit Linux machines with better polish. Since many Windows games are still 32-bit, this is going to be a huge thing for Linux gamers who run Windows games. Then, there is improved compatibility with Windows games and apps, so even more of those are runnable here now and more apps run without issues. There have been big advancements in the graphics department, so that's another win for the gamers. Peripherals like controllers and driving wheels get enhanced support. As someone who plays mostly with a controller, I know how big of a hassle it can be to get controllers working with Windows games on Linux. Wine 8 brings improvements here. Zorin 17's Windows app support powered by Wine 8 is a significant milestone as many Zorin users do use Windows applications and games and for those, life simply gets better now. Apart from these big updates, there are many more things new here. Zorin has a new logo. I like the older one, but meh, whatever. There are updated drivers, better hardware support, the theming has been slightly polished up here and there. Ooh, the volume and brightness pop-ups are now slimmer, taking up less space, and the new Zorin will be supported till 2027. All in all, Zorin 17 is better than ever before. Alright, if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, definitely consider subscribing to the channel and leave me a big thumbs up. And if you're interested in leveling up your Linux skills, the link to my course, Linux Mastery Express, is given in the description below. It's designed to teach you Linux and take you from zero to hero within the shortest amount of time possible. You'll be using Linux like a pro within a matter of hours, so definitely check that out. Next up, check out the top 20 things you must do after installing Zorin 17 that will take your Zorin experience to the next level. I got some cool insider tricks and tips there, so absolutely don't miss that. Alright, this is Linux Techs, signing out.